Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to start lesson number 6, Stone Age, that is Tool Age. Under this we will cover types and forms of tools according to the type of task and Stone Age tools. So today we will cover part 1, that is types and forms of tools according to the type of task. So basically what is a tool? It is a device or an implement or you can say an equipment especially one held in the hand used to carry out a particular function. So you can see in the picture the carpenter is using a saw, a painter is using a brush, a sweeper is using a broom and a gardener is using a cutter and so on. Now let us understand why there is a need for tools. Man needs tools and equipment to make his work easy. He cannot do everything with his hand but he needs special tools. For example, we need knife to cut fruits, scraper to peel vegetable. A student requires pen, pencil, eraser, sharpener for their work. An artist needs drawing pencil, brush, paint to draw and paint. A tailor needs sewing machine, thread, needle for stitching clothes. An electrician needs plier, screwdriver, wire stripper, drill etc. A painter needs hammer nail puller, utility knife etc. So here we come to know to do any work we need tools. How can we select a tool? So let us understand with an example. Suppose you see a shiny buried object in the ground. Firstly you would try to take it out with your fingers. If it doesn't come out we will try to remove it with a stick or a twig. Still if it doesn't come out we would try with some pointed stones if still it doesn't work out we may dig out with the iron rod so hence we can say according to the task that is work we will make the choice or the selection of tools let us study the factors or the criteria which determines the choice of tools the first one is availability of resources which means suppose you want to make a tool out of iron the raw material iron ore is required in plenty it should be available in plenty the second one is minimum use of time and energy. That means when we use a tool, it should be time and energy saving. For example, if you use a manual juicer, it will take more time and more energy will be consumed. But if you use a machine juicer, it will save time and energy. The third one is maximum efficiency, which means maximum output. For example, if you use a manual juicer, you can get 5 glasses of juice in 10 minutes but if you use a machine juicer you can make 20 glasses of juice in 10 minutes the last one that is skills of handling tools which is acquired through practice the person who handles the tool should be a skillful person otherwise the tool will break or the efficiency that is the output will be less the time and the energy will be more History of tools. Let us go back to the history of tools. The use of tools has not started in recent period but began from the period when man came into existence. Apes like chimpanzee also use tools to break seeds and nuts. They use stick to steer out ants from the anthill to catch them. The next generation of the species that is the Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man also started using tools made out of bones, stones, dried twigs and sticks etc. In the previous chapter we studied that along with the remains of the Homo habilis species even stole tools were found. So we can conclude that these tools were made by them as it was found near them. They not only made tools from stones but from various material like twig. Twig is a small thin branch, sticks etc. All these material except stones get decomposed. Decomposed means to get perished. We do not find any tools made from them. Tools made from bones were also found but very rarely. Modification in the tools. The early man used the stones, bones, as tools as it was that is in the original shape they did not make any alteration or modification but later on due to continuous and minute observation experimentation inborn imagination of human they learned the art of making tools and as we know the upcoming generation that is the species after apes were more intelligent they were the homo erectus homo sapiens and the neanderthal man 
they understood that tools can be modified to suit their needs they learned to sharpen rods bones sticks and stones into tools to carry out work efficiently they also gave different shapes to the tools as per their desire that is wish these are the different tools used during those periods in the first picture you see a chopper made from pebble pebble is a stone so this chopper was used for chopping purpose like cutting the flesh and other vegetables the second one you see a scraper the scraper was used to uh, scrape the skin of the animals the third one is a circular hammer a hammer was used to hit hard object or break a hard object the fourth one you see a chopper made from a flake of stone again this was used for chopping purpose in the fifth one you see a borer made from bone which was used a borer is a tool which is used to dig holes and the sixth one is an antler used as a pick so antler is the pair of horns that grows on the head of some animals so that was used for picking objects from the ground stone age tools the period from which many stone tools are found is called the stone age tools different stone age eras that is period the stone age tools can be broken down into three three different time period the first one is paleolithic paleo means old and lithic means stone age the second one is mesolithic meso means old and lithic means stone age the third one is neolithic neo means new and lithic means stone age what do all three ages have in common so during this time period man used stone tools the word lithos means stone and the word lithic means stone age